Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. Um, it's been a little while since I posted one of these. Feels a little bit uncomfortable. Um, <clears throat> still got the X5. Don't worry, I'm still going to be doing that. Up, but I've also got a new project that was delivered yesterday. That was fun. Um, I don't actually get any footage of it being unloaded, but um, we had a bit of trouble. Um, couldn't get it into neutral for some reason. So um, anyway, let's stop waffling. Let's get into it. And sit down. <laughs> Gonna be. Ten five, baby. <clears throat> State of that. Missing. That's probably spread, isn't it? Okay, and we've got an interior retrim going on. So all of the interior is loose. Uh, got seat belts. Seat belts are all there. Seat belts are good. Got a replacement sense console. Door cars, replacement seats. Got the sunroof. So I need to take care of all of that. Looks like there's loads of loose bolts and stuff, so they haven't fixed those seats. Now I can see the seats aren't fixed in properly. The belt's not anchored down properly, so that's missing from down wherever that goes in my seat room. Seats and crap, the state of this thing. Gonna have to give the seats a good clean. This is us at SEMA, Miltech Sport. That'll be why there's no exhaust on this car because it was a Miltech exhaust. Aluminium trim looks nice. Does that match what's on the door cards? It does, good. Got a nice widescreen, heated steering wheel, that needs a clean. It's got the shifters, of course it's got the shifters, it's got the sunroof. Nice M seats. Bit of change in there as well, that's nice of them. All looks there, doesn't it? So this car was previously in an accident, and they took the um, took this side and the rear quarter. And this one nicely repaired. Oh, and it's got the 360. Like look around the corner cameras and everything as well. So the wheels look a bit scuffed, but I'm gonna have to get them refinished anyway. It's got the new grill. Paint doesn't look too bad, I'd have to give it a good clean. Give it a good buff, it doesn't look too bad. Leather needs a damn good clean. Probably do a bit of repair on there as well. Bring that back to life. Lots of bolts. <laughs> just never got around to doing that. Might be a little bit of leather repair when he's doing some of these door cards because of the ones have been thrown around and scratched but that shouldn't be impossible. We might have to change some of this trim over as well. Looks like they've been a bit brutal with some of that. I should have changed that for what's on here. Is that the front door card? That's still in there. Yeah so I'll change that over. 
what's all this down here? Got oxygen sensors, coils, does that mean plugs? Does that mean there's nothing in the engine bay? Let's have a look. So it said there's no exhaust, which if you come around the back you'll see there's no exhaust. I guess they put a Miltec system on it, some scratches need to buff out. Things all good. The box fills a little bit. That's loose. Breather hose is broken, what's that about? Breather hose is smashed. Does that mean there's no down pipes? Can't see, but there's no, maybe there's no oxygen sensors. That's all loose, so I believe there's 100% no no exhaust on it, but that's broken, that's got to be changed, that would be one thing, and it's the sensors that go on here, so I've got a few missing engine pieces, fun, how much fun is that going to be to put back together? Are there, that's the main thing. See if I can see. That's where the struts go, isn't it? I do believe. Can't see anything. I do believe that there's no exhaust. say there's no exhaust but they've obviously pulled plugs and coils so I've got to get all that back together as well. So I wonder if they had some other problem or whether they just ran out of time and money and thought they'd sell stuff what they could. But I might have to buy some replacement clips and things. That's not a problem as long as everything fires up properly. Belts are all on it. That all looks good, there's no leaks. Deary me. Okay, well thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please do, you know, if you want to see me finish this car off, hit that like and subscribe button. You know, we've not got many subscribers, um, not got that many views going on at the moment, so let's see if I can get myself up there. Um, but I'm going to be doing this, and I'm going to document the whole thing, and uh, I'm going to be sharing all my tears along the way. So please do hit that like and subscribe button if you found this um, interesting or you're looking forward to seeing me absolutely suffer like a fool and um, trying to get this thing on the road and like just plan thousands of pounds into a, an endless money pit of doom i really hope that engine's good but i don't see why it shouldn't be um last i checked so it went through its last mot about six thousand miles ago and i know what can happen in six thousand miles but the only thing that was on the six thousand miles uh, mot was an advisory on a tire so it's, it's on mid fifty thousands i think um, which is fairly low mileage for one of these as long as they've been looked after well um, I'm assuming that someone with an M5 would have changed the oil and all that sort of stuff We'll see Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one